been lost and overlapping his Marston, and Marston's got a throw. Loud, boisterous, annoying. I thought, geez, he's pretty loud, and I need to kick it up a notch because I'm pretty loud myself, so I thought I'd have to match him and try and go toe for toe, but uh, he's toned it down a little bit now that he's had a kid, so um, I'm taking the reins. I admire Masto's work rate, I guess, as a footy perspective. No one can, no one can sort of run uh, as hard as what he does and, and show that burst and, and play team football as well at the same time. So that's probably his work rate and his work ethic is probably one of the things that I admire most about Masto. Annoying. I played under 18s footy with Masto and then I thought I'd get drafted elsewhere because I didn't want to come here with Masto. Little pest. Uh, nah, he's awesome to have around. He's probably the energetic guy of the group, so I um, love playing with him. He's got a lot of tough stickers though. All those tattoos make him a little bit tougher because he's so small. To Darling, he thought he should have been painted. Marston in the pocket. Chips it to the goal line. Awesome! That's off the scale. I'm not even sure he meant it. Nah, he's admitted. Masto is a great guy. Full of energy. Um, He's got the tats, he's got fashion sense, he's cool, but underneath all that he's a real, he's a lover and I think that's, that's what people love about him is he's cares, he cares about his teammates as much as anyone, top three pick and helped us bring, bring our fourth premiership. His energy, his, I suppose his spark he can bring to groups, um, especially when things have been tough at times, um, his energy has been able to lift the group and get us in a better mindset and better mood, I suppose, to tackle into training or whatever we've got coming up. And, uh, you know, he's not only done good things on the field, he, he does a lot of good stuff off the field, especially for our group. He brought down Prittis, clever hands to Marston. Oh, that was brilliant, in a shoebox. I don't know how we gravitated toward it, towards each other, but we did. Yeah, he helped me out a lot when I was a young, young bloke coming through. He's one of your best mates now and uh, I love him, but, um, yeah, back then he, he was the first one to sort of open his arms and, and uh, take me in. Yeah, Masto obviously grew up as an Eagles supporter working in the team store. He probably never thought he'd play 200 games for the footy club, but um, that, that's an amazing achievement from, uh, from himself. I'm sure he'll be proud as well as um, all of his family and friends. Straight off the bench, McFarlane, Marston didn't know he was coming. Oh, wonderful tackle. Should be He's been there for 12 to 13 years now and he's really ingrained in the fabric with just like I was saying, the, the energy, energy he brings to the group and um, is re a really reliable game day and does get the piss taken out of him about being a little turbo, a little ant, but you know, Masto's had a tremendous career so far and hopefully got a couple of years left to go. And here is Masto from 45 out near the boundary line. That is a great looking kick from Masto. Get his hand on, it comes to Lacroix to Masto, a beautiful kick around the body. It's a magnificent kick. Three in a row to the West Coast Eagles.